Welcome to Tanaka in three, two, one. Feeling undervalued? Join the crowd. Number one, if you want appreciation from others, don't hold your breath. Do you think your company or organization owes loyalty to you? If it was in their best interest to terminate you regardless of years served, they would. They have every right to do it. They don't owe you lifetime employment, nor do you owe them your unswerving loyalty. You both entered a contract. You work, they pay you. That's it. My son, although he was doing an amazing job for his employer, just got furloughed due to the coronavirus. It was a numbers game. They needed to cut. His division wasn't a priority, thus the cut. But what bothered him most is that they did not recognize his value. That hurt. Therefore, don't allow your self-worth to be held hostage by the appreciation or recognition of others. If you do, you will be sadly disappointed. However, I need to qualify what I just said. We should, though, focus on building trusting relationships with specific people. A higher power, close friends, family, a supportive boss. Building a trusting relationship is by its very heart reciprocal. Show them love, support, appreciation, and it will be returned in kind. Number two, what is the most important source for you to seek appreciation? It's you. You need to look within. Discover your authentic self. Feel good about what you have, what you've accomplished, the good that you have done and are doing. If you're not there yet, get on the path to fulfillment through self-discovery. ID your strengths, passions, values, and experiences. Number three, of course it feels good to be recognized, but just think about how your employees feel. Your people want to be appreciated and recognized. The Gallup organization published the results of the survey of 125,000 employees in the book First Break All the Rules by Buckingham and Kaufman. They were trying to identify strong workplaces that attract and retain the most productive employees and scare away non-productive ones. From their research, they determined 12 key questions that had a strong correlation to identifying a strong workplace. Question number four is, in the last seven days, have I received recognition or praise for good work? In the last seven days. That's once a week. How often do you get praise? If you think about it, it makes sense. Don't we all want to feel appreciated? Isn't it nice to hear, good job? It never gets old, if it's sincere. As leaders, we need to develop a discipline to recognize our people when they deserve it. As far as performers, that's actually easy to identify something every week. So make a habit of showing appreciation and recognition to your people. Do it sincerely, consistently, and frequently. Take action. Make a difference. You want more? Check out www.lancetanakagroup.com. (laughs) 